finish my prayer and a little bit of stretching. You know what meditation is like throughout the day. Take this off, it's hot here in uh, St. Louis. I'm in a suburb there, I forgot what they call it. All of that to something like that. Well, it seems like St. Louis is made up a bunch of suburbs and everything in St. Louis. But, just finished walking the doggy. We walked for about an hour. Walked for about an hour. Or oh, a little bit more, actually. And then uh, start my day. Actually, before I walk the door, I usually do some writing. Actually, I posted something uh, one side. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, and uh, right after I posted that, I didn't post it, but I, 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 I recorded that. I looked over my phone and found out that, that uh, Robert Mugabe has passed. So, a little uh, one of libations for Robert Mugabe. Passing Robert Mugabe. I would think, of, when I think of Robert Mugabe, I immediately think, wait a second. Yeah, it's wine. It's, uh, it's wine, it's red wine. See, but brother, it's early in the morning. Why are you drinking wine? Well, I just did a libation. Come on. It's just so I'm sure I love. I'll tell you what I do. It's wine. Take a bite of an apple. How's that? There's not much wine left. And I'm not really a big drinker. That, that, this bottle, it lasts me for more than a week, for 10 days, whenever JV left. So, but it's really good. I like this. I have another bottle from that company. Shiraz. I love Shiraz. I don't know when I open that. Maybe I'll open that. I'm supposed to see the, the Miles Davis movie on Sunday. So maybe after I finish seeing the Miles Davis movie on Sunday, I'll open one. I don't know. But back to Mugabe. Bob Mugabe gone, dead. I mainly thought about Kenneth Kunda. Now, you may not know Kenneth Kunda, but he's the one that got, uh, as I put it, on a post that uh, the Apple Senate wrote about, you know, he did a, anyway, I put that, he's the one that got um, Bob Mugabe out of the clutches of the colonialists. So anyway. So I wrote that. But I talked to Ken Cooley one time. He gave a little talk, I was happy to be in, but anyway, we shook hands while I was talking to him, we chatted. But I noticed when all these folks talk about, especially very old people, they always talk, referring to them like when they did their thing, pre whatever, not what they did after. Now, I know I'm not talking ill of the dead or nothing like that, I'm just talking facts. What, what, is, what is Robert Mugabe's legacy going to be? Let me stop with there. What, let me leave him out of this, because I don't want to talk about a specific person. What a, what an old man's le legacy going to be? What an elder's legacy? What is the elder's legacy? Now, if you had been an elder and you was in any kind of movement, and you didn't give up the movement in time for the movement itself to uh, create another movement leader, I say you failed. If you didn't give up the movement as leader, I'm not saying advisor or elder of that movement, to somebody else, so that they can develop, and the movement can develop from somebody else's momentum that came from, you know, they carried that momentum. That's what I'm talking about, momentum. In fact, the successor you leave is doing not the pre, not the revolutionary thing, but the administrators, not all revolutionaries can become administrators. That's all, that's all a nation head or a movement head is, is administrator. Anyway. And that person is doing even worse than you, or even the same as you when you left. Well, I think it speaks for itself. Oh, yes, I do. Again, not mentioning names, because I don't want people to get all upset here. But you said, oh, you said, oh. The point is, your legacy is not just you. It is your lineage. 
and within your lineage is your individual legacy. But the trick is, you have to honestly assess your legacy within your lineage, which if your lineage includes a movement, and the movement, say it's a movement for liberation, has not to this day liberated. Right now South Africa is going through some turmoil. Africa is going through turmoil. The United States movements of uh, black folks going through turmoil. Well, let me not get too severe. The point is, we are in a state, and since we're talking about Mugabe, let's go to that word, the Shona word, Chimaranga. Chimaranga means revolutionary struggle, but it also means the struggle from within, the struggle against the people who would be against revolutionary struggle within. So we're in that state right now. We are not in a revolutionary struggle state. We're in a state we have to flesh some things out. South Africa, or Africa has to realize that, hey, it's a struggle for humanity. And what happens is we have to start getting rid of people who are not into humanity. Africa is interestingly poised because, you know, you have SADC, which is the southern, the southern, like, 12, 13, 12, I don't know, 17 nations or whatever, from Madagascar to Angola or someplace over there, I don't know. The DR, DRC, whatever. They should naturally relate. You have the East Africans uniting. You have the West Africans uniting. Except for Morocco, I don't know what's happening in North Africa. But the point is, the entire continent can unite. Just like the entire black population of the United States can actually unite on a spear with the with the with with the with the tip of the spear being informed politically by ADOS, but each individual in the tip. Because when me and the doggy we took our walk, I was listening to rebroadcast of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Each individual in that spear, each individual in worldwide. In the Africa movement, in whatever, the, the, the Americas movement, the ADOS movement, had an individual code, and that individual code being the code that Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. suggests. Anyway, be way to head. And inform your soul, your body, what's to be done. That's a little suggestion from me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.